Pope Francis is the first Jesuit Pope in history, and we Jesuits couldn't be more proud of Pope Francis. One of the things that very deeply impacted me with Pope Francis was in his first public interview, he, the interviewer asked him, who is Jorge Mario Bergoglio? And Pope Francis took a moment, he reflected on it, he was silent, and then he looked right at him and he said, I'm a sinner. St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta went to confession every day or every other day. St. Pope John Paul went to confession every day, every other day. There's great power in that sacrament. I want to tell you about an experience in my own life where I felt the incredible power and mercy of God's love in the face of my own sin being very dramatically revealed to me. A number of years ago, I had the opportunity to lead a pilgrimage to the Holy Land with my dear friend, Father Mitch Pacwa. Father Mitch, you may recognize, is the host on EWTN Live. He's been a television personality there for many, many years. Well, Father Mitch and I entered the Jesuits together. We're very close friends. We're, although we're very different, both of us grew up in Chicago. Father Mitch went off and he got a doctorate in Old Testament from Vanderbilt. I went off to the Yale School of Drama and I got a Master of Fine Arts in theater. So when Father Mitch invited me to come over to the Holy Land, I thought, what an extraordinary opportunity to go to the Holy Land with somebody who has a doctorate in Old Testament. Father Mitch speaks 12 languages and he's my best friend. Now it was a bilingual group. Half the group spoke Spanish, half the group, group spoke English. Father Mitch is fluent in Spanish, that's one of his 12 languages, but I struggle with English. <laughs> that's the only language that I, that I speak. So Father Mitch would be speaking to the group in English and then he would translate and he would say the same thing in Spanish on the bus. Now, when we got over to the Holy Land, which is a very international society, there are people from all over the world there. He would speak a little bit of Hebrew to the Jews. And if he met people from Greece, he'd speak a little bit of Greek. He would quote the church documents in Latin. He would recite some of the scripture in the original Greek. He'd be speaking Spanish, Spanish and English. Father Mitch is Polish. He'd speak a little bit of Polish. And recently he's learned Arabic, so he'd speak a little bit of, of Arabic to the Muslims and to the Palestinians. I would say hello to all of those, all of those people. So after about a week of traveling with my best friend, I felt overwhelmed by his giftedness, by his language ability, by his phenomenal memory, by all the people that, that, he, that he knew. And the people would come up to me on the pilgrimage and they said, Father Michael, isn't Father Mitch wonderful? And I'd say, uh, yeah, yeah. And you're his friend. How extraordinary is that? Oh, and, and you're great too. Well, after a week of hearing that, I, I started to feel intimidated. Now, actually, I started to feel jealous. And I didn't like the fact that I was feeling jealous. And so I said, all right, what I need to do is go to confession. I'll go to confession to, to my friend and I will tell him and then I'm gonna be able to let go of it. So I did. I went to confession and I confessed, Mitch, I'm jealous of you. He was compassionate, he was understanding, he offered some good counsel, he gave me a penance. And then he blessed me. Think back on the stepping stones in your life. What are the experiences that give you hope, that strengthen you? Go and reflect on what have been the experiences in your life where you felt God's mercy. Oftentimes, it's when we stood in need. It's when we were embarrassed. It's always a grace to be able to know what our sin is. Pray for that gift. Pray that the Holy Spirit would allow you to see in truth what your sins are. Amen.